The events shaped after First World War in context to Israel. The aftermath of World War I significantly influenced the context of Israel's formation, albeit indirectly. One of the key outcomes of the war was the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, which had ruled over the territory known as Palestine for centuries. The defeat of the Ottoman Empire led to the British Mandate over Palestine, established by the League of Nations in 1922. During this period, Jewish immigration to Palestine increased, driven by numerous factors including persecution in Europe and the rise of the Zionist movement, which advocated for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. The Balfour Declaration of 1917, issued by the British government, expressed support for the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. However, tensions between Jewish and Arab communities in Palestine escalated in the aftermath of World War I. The conflicting national aspirations of both groups led to increasing violence and unrest, culminating in the Arab Revolt of 1936-1939 against British rule and Jewish immigration. The events of World War II further accelerated Jewish immigration to Palestine as survivors of the Holocaust sought refuge. The plight of European Jews and the horrors of the Holocaust strengthened international support for the establishment of a Jewish state. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan for Palestine, which would have created separate Jewish and Arab states. The Jewish leadership accepted the plan, but it was rejected by Arab leaders, leading to the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The 1948 Arab-Israeli War, also known as the War of Independence, marked a watershed moment in the history of the Middle East. Fought between the newly established State of Israel and a coalition of Arab states, the conflict had far-reaching implications for the region's geopolitics, demography, and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. This essay explores the origins, course, and consequences of this pivotal conflict. Origins The roots of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War can be traced back to the conflicting national aspirations of Jews and Arabs in Palestine, as well as broader geopolitical dynamics. The United Nations Partition Plan of 1947 proposed the division of Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, which was accepted by Jewish leaders but rejected by Arab states and Palestinian Arab leaders. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion, the head of the Jewish Agency, declared the establishment of the State of Israel, prompting neighboring Arab states to intervene militarily. Egypt, Transjordan, now Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq mobilized their forces with the aim of preventing the establishment of a Jewish state and asserting their influence in the region. Course of the War The 1948 Arab-Israeli War unfolded in multiple theaters across Palestine, with fierce battles taking place in cities such as Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Haifa, and Jaffa. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, the nascent Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, demonstrated remarkable resilience and tactical ingenuity. The war was characterized by intense fighting, including sieges, urban warfare, and guerrilla tactics. Both sides committed atrocities, including massacres and the displacement of civilian populations. The conflict also saw the first large-scale deployment of air power in the Middle East. The turning point of the war came with Israel's successful defense of Jerusalem and its ability to secure its coastal plain, ensuring the continuity of its existence as a state. A series of armistice agreements, brokered by the United Nations, brought an end to major hostilities by 1949. Consequences The consequences of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War were profound and far-reaching. Israel emerged from the conflict as a sovereign state, albeit with its borders significantly different from those proposed in the UN partition plan. The war resulted in the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs, leading to the Palestinian refugee crisis, which remains unresolved to this day. The Arab states, meanwhile, suffered a humiliating defeat, with Jordan and Egypt occupying the West Bank and Gaza Strip, respectively. The war also laid the groundwork for decades of conflict and hostility between Israel and its Arab neighbors, shaping the geopolitics of the region for generations. Furthermore, the 1948 war had demographic consequences, as hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs became refugees, 
while hundreds of thousands of Jews from Arab countries migrated to Israel, seeking refuge and contributing to the country's population growth and diversity. Conclusion In conclusion, the 1948 Arab-Israeli War was a transformative event that reshaped the political, demographic, and territorial landscape of the Middle East. Its legacy continues to reverberate through the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the broader geopolitics of the region. Understanding the origins, course, and consequences of this conflict is essential for comprehending the complex dynamics that continue to shape the Middle East today. The war resulted in the establishment of the State of Israel on May 14, 1948, marking a significant turning point in the history of the region. The aftermath of World War I, with its reshaping of geopolitical boundaries and power structures, played a crucial role in setting the stage for the establishment of Israel, but it was the events of World War II and its aftermath that directly led to its creation. Title, The Balfour Declaration, a landmark in the history of Zionism and the Middle East Palestine for centuries. The defeat of the Ottoman Empire led to the British Mandate over Palestine, Established by the League of Nations in 1922, the aftermath of World War I significantly influenced the context of Israel's formation, albeit indirectly. One of the key outcomes of the war was the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, which had ruled over the territory known as 